Yes, yes, people. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today, we are gonna go watch KSI and Face Tempo. Throw some hands. Let's go. So this whole card was designed to be the most stacked one and to start the year 2023 with a bang. And I'm not gonna lie to you, it hasn't disappointed apart from one thing. Initially, KSI was supposed to fight Dylan Dennis, but Dylan Dennis got shook and then called it a day, literally 10 days before the fight. Luckily, Face Tempo was supposed to be fighting a mystery opponent, but then because KSI was training for a Southpaw, it just made sense to fight Tempo because Tempo is Southpaw. Do you get what I mean? So. It made sense. Um, Joe Fournier and uh, some guy called Christopher Dululu. Christopher Dululu. That guy was supposed to be fight. Those two guys were supposed to be fighting, but I think Christopher Dululu got whatever his name is got injured. And uh, yeah, Elena. Oh yeah. By the way, come. Let me just, come, 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 come. I have a cat now, guys. This is Luna. Say hello. Hi, hi. Hello. <laughs> this cat is a bundle of energy. Mwah. Yeah, the goblin. Luna decides to run around, so she's going to be with me to do this prediction. So, Luna, well, the first fight of the night is Anthony Taylor and Idris Virgo, I believe. Uh, yes, that is the first fight of the night. My prediction, I'm predicting Idris Virgo to win. As good as Anthony Taylor is for his size, Idris Virgo is about 3-4 inches tall and is just physically longer, so he's got the reach advantage. He should win by just based on physical ability, but um, you never know, but I still back Idris Virgo, so Idris Virgo is winning this one. Second fight of the night is Faith Ordway and Elbrook, now if you're from the UK and you've seen the Twitter scene, you exactly know who Elbrook is, Faith Ordway, if, you know from if you're know from America, if, if you're from America, you know Faith Ordway is a famous TikToker, I've never heard of Faith Ordway till this fight card, I'm not going to lie to you, so there's that, and oi, enough. Um, yeah, Luna's just running around, but um, that's that. I personally think Faith Ordway is going to win this one because she punches more sharp. She has got the reach advantage. She trained, I think she only started training six months ago, but she's picked up like natural power. I think she's always had natural power, natural athletic, athletic ability. So that's my take. Faith Ordway to win this one. Yeah. Cool, next fight of the night, Ryan Taylor versus Swarms, or Swarms, or however he wants to say his damn name. Not gonna lie, this one is looking to be a grudge match. Apparently Ryan Taylor is ill, and obviously we'll see that tonight. Um, I also believe from what I've heard, Swarms got a new trainer, and from the open workout, I believe that is correct. It's not the same training he had when he fought KSI on a, on a short two week notice. However, both do look sharp mentally, but physically, uh, Ryan Taylor is ill apparently and he hasn't really changed as much because he really believes mentally he can outbox Swarms. And Swarms has spent the last three months just training properly, working on technique. He's lost a lot of weight, he looks in great shape. So, this fight, I'm gonna think it's not gonna be by KO. I think it's gonna go to the, to the, to the full distance, it's gonna be a decision. I think it's gonna be a split decision though, I think Swarms will have round one. Ryan Taylor's gonna have round two. Swarms will edge out round three because it's influencer boxing. They don't do six rounds, they're not that good just yet. Or they don't do eight rounds, they're not, they're not at that level. So, yeah, uh, it's gonna be a decision result. Fight of the night is uh, Mystery Opponent versus B Dave. Now this one, I'm not gonna lie, this, this prediction is gonna be short and sweet. I don't know who B Dave is fighting, so I can't assume what it is. I just know B Dave is a hillbilly madman. That's all I can understand from when I've seen the way he in the press conference. Um, personally, I want this fight to be a sludge, uh, like a slug, a slugfest. I just want to see bangs thrown, blood pouring, all sorts of stuff. Yeah, and uh, I hope it's a good fight. I hope it doesn't end in round one because I really want all these fights to stretch in particular. But this one, because it's a mystery point, we don't know who he's fighting. I'm gonna back nobody in that sense and then we'll go from there this one is techie salt pappy and josh brock now these two they're in the same category they're in the cruiserweight category salt pappy is obviously not as jacked as salt brock as you've seen in the pop-ups however salt pappy has clearly boxed before because he won against halal ham he won against andy warski he lost a lot of weight to build up fitness and get into shape for this he's in much better shape now than he was a year ago and I truly believe that with this whole thing, um, I believe Solberg is going to win this purely because he has more natural technical ability than Josh Bruckner. 
and I really do believe that Sopaf is going to win it for the Filipinos and he's going to put a statement out there and I think if he does win this, he's going to fight the winner of the next fight. Which takes me on to the second main event card fight which is Slim versus Tom Zanetti. Tom Zanetti was obviously supposed to fight in October but some madman was moving on a mad thing that he was supposed to fight and really and truly Tom Zanetti looks sharp he's got that Yorkshire grip but then obviously slim long arms six foot just looks like an absolute lunatic but then again he's from Brooklyn New York and I really believe this one's gonna be a proper tight fight however I'm gonna back slim because after seeing him win against face temper and Ryan Taylor back to back in Misfits 1 and 2 I do give him the edge in this fight here against Tom Zanetti but if Tom Zanetti can control the pace of the fight, Slim won't have a chance because Slim usually takes center, the center ring and controls the flow of it. So it's down to Tom to control the center ring, be more physical, get more like nitty gritty in there because I think he's an inch and a bit, maybe two inches shorter than Slim, but he'll have the power. I apologize for the music that was playing. It's one of the instrumentals I've used for a YouTube video and my cat decides to just run across the laptop. But onto the final fight prediction before everything kicks off. Come here, Luna. Okay, stop running. We're gonna do this. So, final prediction KSI versus Tempa. It's gonna be a six round off from what has been rumored, and I believe KSI will finish the fight within four. KSI's training has been nuts. He trains in the same gym that Derek Chisora trains in, so he's all about grit, determination, and he's apparently fought guys that are 10 kg heavier. 10, 15k, he's both, apparently has a cruiserweight. I think he's been fighting light heavyweights to get up to speed with how the whole fight night's been going. And he's been doing six minute rounds. I think he's done over a hundred rounds of sparring. And just looking at how he is in physical shape and mentally, he wants to obviously fight Jake Paul, which is I think the negotiations that are started this year. And they're gonna fight at the end of the year at Wembley Stadium, which is gonna be insane if I can get tickets to go on, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna sit in a crap seat. I'm paying good money to go watch that fight. The whole fight card. So it's gonna be interesting to see how things will pan out and we'll just it's just gonna be nuts to be honest. But I give KSI the win within four rounds, and if he doesn't within four rounds, I think it will, it, he will win by points. But Tempo will control rounds five and six, should it go to six rounds. So Anyways, enough of that, Luna. Let's say bye to the people and let's start making ways to Wembley. These are the crepes of choice. The no two ways slow. All blue to go with the jumper. It's all gonna be crusty and well. Yes, I've taken off the jumper because it got hot. But the no, the new kicks I'm gonna be rocking to the KSI fight. Also, I don't know if you remember my shoe reviews. I've got new shoes. I don't know if I'm the only one who does this, but. That new shoe smell is amazing, but let's make some steps. Be here now, so we're gonna go to Box Park, grab some food real quick, and then go to the queue for the arena car. It's gonna be looking.
injuries, finish him already, man. Oi! Oi! It is going for him. Finish him, man. Get closer. Just, just thump him. Idris, finish him. Finish him, Idris. Come on, Idris. Just end it already, man. By unanimous decision, Idris.
the box, here we go to the judges' scorecards. Judge Ken Curtis scores the bout 40 to 37. Jack Goodwin scores the bout 39 to 37. Judge Gareth Morris scores the bout 39 to 38. And your winner by unanimous decision. And still, Peace.